What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori. If you are new here, I am a family nurse practitioner and in today's video, we are going to be starting a series for lab interpretation. So if you're a new nurse practitioner, you're struggling in this area, even if you're a nurse, these are tips and certain things that will help you as well because I am a strong believer that nurses should know why they're doing certain things. You should know why the physician is ordering certain things because we're not monkey. Monkey see, monkey do, and we don't have no idea what why we're doing what we're doing so what is your metabolic panel your metabolic panel is either your CMP or your BNP and for your CMP your CMP is the complete metabolic panel and the BNP is your basic metabolic panel when you order CMP on the patient you are checking for their electrolytes you're checking for their renal function and you're also going to be checking their liver function so when it comes down to electrolytes we do mean or potassium or sodium chloride things like that the renal function of course is gonna tell us about the BUN the creatinine GFR rate when you look at the liver function you are going to be getting the AST the ALT you're gonna get total bilirubin in there your total protein you're gonna get all these labs in a complete metabolic panel when you order the BNP however you are getting everything minus the liver function so the only thing you get when you order a BNP on your patient is the sodium the potassium the chloride the CO2 the BUN the creatinine and your glucose when you're a newer provider even myself I kind of was struggling a little bit thinking okay why do I order a CMP and why would I order a BNP but for me and this is my reasoning in a nursing home setting I check my patients labs every three months months and when I check their labs I check a complete metabolic profile because my patients majority of them have like hypertension so when your patient is hypertensive and you run labs on them checking to see if there's any organ damage certain labs you don't do every three months like your lipid panel your lipid panel are typically once a year I will check a BNP when something kind of acute happens sometimes with the patient when you look at the electrolyte panel nine times out of ten in a nursing home setting your patient's sodium will be elevated and their chloride will be elevated and this is a result of probably likely dehydration that's one of the biggest things in a nursing home setting for a lot of these elderly patients a lot of times I also will look at their BUN so if you see a spike in your patient's BUN and the creatinine is a little elevated but not as much your BUN is a better indicator of dehydration and not re renal damage itself. So in a nursing home setting, you can do IV fluids on the patient. So what I tend to do is I tend to order IV hydration on the patient. You can do a, your D5 half normal saline, make the determination of how fast you want to run it. You have to take in consideration other factors like if the patient has congestive heart failure and you don't want to fluid overload them. I tend to do that for like a three day stretch. Within the first 24 hours, a lot of times patients will start per up and sometimes they don't you can't just run IV fluids for extended periods of time in a nursing home setting so after three days I tend to recheck the labs when I also check these lab values I always look at medications that the patient is on if you have your labs come back and the patient's potassium say is low you want to check the medication what medication are the patients on that can likely cause the patient's potassium to be so low a lot of these patients in the nursing home setting are on Lasix. Lasix, as we know, will cause your potassium to deplete your potassium. So you want to put your patient on potassium supplements. When you look at the potassium, if the potassium is getting elevated, you want to look at their renal function. I look at trends in these patients because you have to look and see if the creatinine is steadily increasing every single time you check these labs. And that can be an indicator of the patients going into some kind of renal issue. Another reason why your potassium could be high is medicate ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors will cause your potassium to be elevated as well. The biggest takeaway, always look at trends on your patient's lab.
labs look at their trends if you notice that every time you check your patient's lab the sodium is going down 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 you need to take an overall picture of what's really going on with your patients so that you can find out why is it that this patient sodium level is continuously going down when your patient has like increased co2 levels one of the things that can cause your patient's co2 levels to be increased is they have copd and they're retaining their co2 a lot of times this is elevated and their co2 retainers and the patient is functioning well and we'll get phone calls a lot of times from nurses say what are you going to do about this if this is not astronomically out of range your patient is okay now if the patient has problems and the patient is retaining way too much and it's causing them to be confused and all of that then the patient probably needs to go to the hospital and they'll likely put the patient on BiPAP machine because the nursing home setting to get some of these BiPAP machines in there is just hella stressful and I tried to do it once before when I was there and it was it, it was just not a thing it was just definitely not a thing when you are also looking at your lab values when you look at the calcium level calcium has to do with your albumin and there is actually a formula to calculate what the true calcium is for the patient and I learned this in the ICU as an ICU nurse because I remember when I was an ICU nurse and I would go to the intensivist and say okay the calcium is low do we want to replace it and he, he was like no we're not replacing that I asked and inquired like why not because I didn't know this and then that's how he you know broke it down to me and say the true calcium is this because you have to look at what the albumin is when I take a look at my patient's liver function your AST your ALT when I look at these labs and if your AST is elevated or your ALT is elevated the ALT the L in ALT is signaling that it's probably something with the liver and the AST is probably because of medication like statins statins can cause your AST to be elevated if these are marginally elevated I really don't worry too much about it because nine times out of ten what are our patients on for their high cholesterol they're on a statin so it's gonna cause those um, AST to be a little bit elevated if I look at my trends like I'm telling you you really need to look at your patient trends in some of these things and you look at that ALT and it continuously going up and it's going up and it's going up I normally will go ahead and go one step further and order a hepatic panel on the patient just to take a better look of what is going on with the patient one of those reasons can also be alcohol a lot of times patients will tell you that they don't drink <laughs> and you look at these lab values and you're like yeah you do drink because it is showing me in your liver function that you drink so the next labs that I look at for my nursing home patients is their total protein and their albumin and in the nursing home setting these are low when they're malnourished protein calorie deficit a lot of times is what this is kind of showing you and when I see that the total protein is just low and your albumin is low I go ahead and I check a pre albumin and nine times out of ten that pre albumin is gonna come back very low to indicate further that this patient has some malnutrition nutrition going on the good thing about the nursing home setting is that there is a dietitian in every single nursing home and the dietitian is also looking at these labs and making recommendation of what the patients should be on different type of supplements that they should be on that would definitely help them so I think that's it uh, I didn't want to make this video too long that is just a quick synopsis uh, overview of how I take a look at my patients lab values and how I try to manage their labs in the nursing home setting a nursing home setting is a little bit limited in some of the things that you can do for the patient you need to make a judgment call if you're a provider saying something else is going on with this patient and I want the patient to go to the hospital because I have run labs on patients before and I do not even start IV fluids on them I made a decision that the patient should go to the hospital because I thought that there was just something else going on with this patient. Um, this is the first episode in this lab interpretation series. I will be doing CBC next and I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and as always don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys up on my next one. Bye guys!